guys, what's so, up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time to commentate on Jeremy Jones for the trillion fucking time. Before you know it, I will have done more commentaries on Jeremy Jones than Chris Bors or NC17 Productions, which are two individuals who used to be my biggest commentary targets. Well, what can I say? It's fun to commentate on Jeremy Jones. And that's the main reason I've commented on him so often. Anyway, today I will be commentating on his review of Beauty and the Beast, the new one. Now, I fucking hate the new Beauty and the Beast movie, but don't worry, I will do my very best to not try to debunk any of the positive aspects he has to say about the movie since I respect his opinion. But outside his overall opinion on the movie, there are still a lot of things that I gotta point out. So anyway, without further ado, let's dive in. Through a series of events, Belle winds up in a cursed castle with the beast and all of his friends in there are now appliances, like Brave Little Toaster. Well, not really appliances, they didn't have appliances back then. What was the point of bringing up the Brave Little Toaster? I guess that this is a joke, but I didn't find it funny. And to me, it came more across as a pointless reference. With his friend LeFou, played by Josh Gad, which is funny because it just recently came out where they're like, oh, by the way, LeFou in this movie is gay. For me, I was like, that's actually kind of crazy. That anyone thought LeFou was ever straight, was he? Was LeFou ever straight? I didn't know that. Come on, let's be real, LeFou was always gay. In either case, he was bizarrely heavy-handed in his affection for Gaston more than the animation. It's just that he always had a comment that was like, Gaston, I love you. I was like, you are the neediest person I've ever seen in my life. Then again, in the movie, he addresses the fact that people say he's needy, so hey, I guess it worked. Now, while doing my research for this movie before doing the commentary, I I found out something that I find very fucking messed up. And that's the fact that in some countries, the movie is aged, restricted, or downright fucking banned simply because of the fact that one of the characters is gay. And I find that absolutely fucking disgusting. When the hell will the whole world wake up from this homophobic mindset? A movie shouldn't be age restricted or banned simply because one of the characters happens to be a homosexual because it has been scientifically proven that homosexuality is natural and acceptable. The fact that there is a pizza movie with an openly gay character is beyond fucking awesome. But yeah, the fact that this movie is banned in some countries and they restricted simply because of that fact pisses me off to a massive degree. And you know what's even more messed up? The fact that there is no controversy that I could find about bestiality. I mean, Belle is clearly in love with a beast. How come there is far more fucking controversy surrounding one homosexual character? That's fucking unacceptable. Anyway, run time over, let's continue the fucking video. I prefer the animated version to the live action version. I don't know if that's nostalgia. Trust me, Jeremy, it has nothing to do with nostalgia. The reason why me, you, and many others fucking love the animated Beauty and the Beast movie is because it's legitimately a fantastic movie. Almost everything about that movie is fucking fantastic. The songs, the story, the characters. Yeah, there is a damn good reason why it's beloved by so many people. It has nothing to do with nostalgia. But I do genuinely believe, objectively to my core, that a couple of the moments just had better timing and they just utilized all the pacing perfectly in the animation. I'm sorry, but no, a movie can't be objectively good or bad. Now, there are many movies that most would agree are some of the greatest movies of all time. But guess what? Even though a lot of people would agree with that, it's still their subjective fucking opinion. It's as good a live-action Beauty and the Beast as I could have asked for. What about the French Beauty and the Beast movie from 1946? You never bring that movie up in your review. 
And I am shocked by this because you have before provided examples of other movies to strengthen your points. M. Night Shyamalan's no stranger to slow movies. Generally speaking, you see his movies, you're like, yeah, they're all slow. But his first batch of movies, we'll call them the ones that were good. Slow as they may be, they were interesting stories. Interesting stories, good actors. We had intrigue in there. We were like, where is it going? And we know it's building to something. Although it's not entirely necessary to bring that movie up, it's still would have improved the quality of this review. I mean hell, it would have made a lot more sense than bringing the brave little toaster right out of fucking nowhere like you did earlier on in this review. Or I will say Beauty and the Beast is certainly worth watching and certainly worth buying on Blu-ray. Wait, you changed that rating in a review that you made earlier this year. I will say the Lego Batman movie is definitely worth watching and definitely worth buying on Blu-ray or 4K or digital download or whatever the kids are doing these days to watch movies. What the hell ever happened to that? Is what Disney animated movie do you want to see translated into live action next? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. You know what animated is the movie I would like to see adapted into live action? The Hunchback of Notre Dame. There is one thing that movie has in common with the Cinderella. It would be perfect to be made into live action. Because besides the gargoyles, that movie is very fucking realistic, so making a live action version of it would make sense. And because of how fucking dark it is, I would wanna see it R rated. Yeah, that would be very fucking cool. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. This isn't an awful review. In fact, I think this review is very good. Now there are a few problems that I have with that review, hence why I made the commentary. But keep in mind that there is a difference between flopped and bad. This review might be flopped, but it's far from bad. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.